Hi guys, I'm doing a quick unboxing video. I have to do it in the bathroom because we're being in the living room. It's being very loud. Um, so, as you can see, I have an assistant trying to help me do this quick unboxing. It's just a couple things. Um, it goes with my Tom DeLonge signature strap. Sushi, really. Um, they came out with a few To The Stars accessories that... Um, that matched kind of went along with it so um, i'm going to do that opening right now i ordered these ones directly from vendor there is a cable a guitar cable i didn't initially order that because um it only came in graffiti yellow and i was hoping little turd i was kind of hoping to um that it was going to come out in surf green but I got confirmation from a local guitar shop that Graffiti Yellow is the only one we're going to get. So I may go ahead and end up ordering that as well. Um, just because there is a couple straps that I may end up ordering with it. Um, I got one strap in this box, but there's another one that I might end up ordering later. So we'll have to see what I end up doing with that. But um, let's get into the box opening. I already took my label off and opened it up to see, first of all, to make sure everything was in here. So I've had this for almost a week now, but I've been sick and I have lost my voice for part of that. Um, but I took out the invoice as well, since that has information. You can kind of see one thing on the top. So Fender did package this very well, like honestly for the two things that are in here to put two pockets of the air pockets for shipping. I mean, I would have thought they would have thrown these just literally in an envelope and called it good. So I was impressed like that. Good fender packaging. Um, so first off, we see right on the top, I've got the To The Stars um, picks. It's a six pack of picks. There is a black one there that says To The Stars. There is a white one that says To The Stars. Yellow, um, Daphne, and... Um, surf green there's another yellow or another white one in here it's a six pack okay, i'll set you guys down for a second and open it up so i am not going to be playing with these strings. these strings i'm going to be getting a decorative um crap i'm going to be getting a decorative box to put them in but i might be contacting fender because there's my green one my surf green literally is all dirty it honestly looks not the best um and then just on the back they just say fender medium and then so we've got the black to the black with the two stars logo and, and there is the daphne yellow See, the Daphne yellow doesn't look bad, so I don't know why my surf green looks so horrible. Then we've got a white with the To The Stars logo, yellow with the To The Stars logo, and then the last is just the To The Stars asterisk. Um, I don't know what to do about, of course, the one that I wanted the most. Um, I might be purchasing a second pack, so I might be using these as the play ones, and then, um, those ones as the ones that I will use for display purposes. So here's the back of the packaging. There's the Fender to the Stars Tom DeLong 351 celluloid picks, so they're medium. And then it has whether you're a fan of Tom DeLong's playing in Blink 182 or Angels and Airwaves, an influence on music and culture is out of this world. Sorry guys, I need to get it a little bit closer for me to be able to read it. Inspired by the distinct colors of his signature Stratocaster models, the Tom DeLong to the Stars collection features designs and collaborations with unique aesthetic of both brands. So like I said, the backs of them all have the Fender logo on them. And I just have to get something to put them in, but like I said, I'm going to be purchasing a second pack because I... I ended up taking my guitar to a local guitar shop to change the strings because I have a fear, I know it's an irrational fear, 
of changing strings. Plus, I hate Fender's cheap strings, and I love Ernie Ball strings. Um, so I got some Ernie Balls. They didn't have what I wanted. I usually get slinky top heavy bottoms. Um, they didn't have any in stock when I went in and did it. So um, with the help of the, the, the tech that they had working the day I went in, um, we found a good compromise. And he even said he's been telling the owner that they need to order those. So um, hopefully they can get those in by the time I need a string change. But they they were impressed by the guitar. They loved my guitar. Um, they checked it over. I know Sweetwater does their whole check on it before they even send it out. And this guitar shop I took it to is an authorized vendor dealer. And um, they checked it over when they checked the strings as well. They foiled the fretboard for me on top of that. So I'm going to do like a better overview and like natural light of it now that all that's done. But um, when I was there talking to them, I had mentioned about the cords that I really wanted the To The Stars cable, but it only came in graffiti yellow. And I was holding out, hoping it would come in surf green. And he looked it up and he's like, there's not graffiti yellow is all you're going to get. So I'm going to eventually order that. Then I'm going to see if they can order me a set of picks. Too. Um, so the other thing I got was... Uh, sorry guys, I'm in the bathroom. The To The Stars um, guitar strap. So on the camera, at least on my side, it looks like it's actually blue, but it is the surf green. Um, it's a really nice um, nylon guitar strap, and it's got the Fender logos logo on it. It's a really nice name one. I can't get it. Sushi! Sorry, the cat's trying to play with the picks. No, ma'am. No. Um, so it is really nice made. I got it to match my guitar. I'm thinking about getting a black one. So here you can see it does say it's surf green and it is true. I don't know if it looks, it looks more green here. Like I said, the coloring in this room is really bad. Now apparently my assistant needs to inspect. So on the back side of this one, it just has, it doesn't have anything like on the back of the picks. But there's the tag. I know a few people were upset because they got theirs and they did not have the tag on it. But it looks like mine has the tag. Um, I'm really impressed with the quality for the price. So I think I will be going ahead and ordering a second one. I might just order a black strap, another set of picks, and then the green or the yellow cord but this is just my small haul i know people on discord have been kind of bugging me because like i said i had taken my in and had it like kind of professionally serviced even after sweetwater sweetwater did a great deal i mean my guitar is flawless even when the smaller um fender dealer went through and looked at it because they're an authorized fender dealer and they do have a tech on hand to service they would be like who if i needed anything with the warranty on it, Fender would probably send me to them anyways. Um, so he's like, you know what, I'll just go ahead and check, do it a one over. So he goes, I know Sweetwater is really good at doing those, but, um, you know, sometimes things get overlooked. So it's nice to have another set of scrutiny eyes looking at it. So it was nice and reassuring to have them go through it as well. And so he's like the only thing i found was the fretboard was a little dry so i oiled it for you and like i said the colors on it pop now so um i'm impressed with all of it i might be ordering a few more things so i hope everyone has a great day bye